Hi, I'm Bill McKillop, the Interconnect Technology Manager for Hirose Electric. I'd like to tell you about a robust new 2mm wire-to-board connector series for industrial applications, the DF51K. The DF51K comes in a variety of positions and in a variety of mounting styles as shown in this accompanying slide. There's a single row cable version in both vertical and right angle through hole PCB mounting and a double row cable version, again, in both vertical and right angle through hole PCB mounting. For those designs that require fewer signal power lines, the single row DF51K is the right choice. The pin count ranges from two to six, the 250 volt AC or DC rating along with 105 degree C temperature rating and multiple wire gauge options allow the engineer to choose the right combination for his or her design. When more signal or power is needed than the double row options starting in a 2x2 pin all the way up to a 2x15 pin can be designed in all with the same voltage ratings, temperature ratings, and multiple wire gauge options. One of the design features that customers most appreciate is the convenient center lock. This enables for dense side-by-side -side connector PCB mounting while allowing for strong system airflow across the short edge of the connectors. Another benefit of this feature is that the cable harness won't be tangled by catching on exposed latches. Another design feature is the built-in keying that enables proper mating orientation and prevents mismating. The bifurcated female contact has two plating options, tin and gold, as does the male pin, a convenient design option to save costs where warranted. Of course, the recommended PCB dimensional detail is always provided to assist with layout. Occasionally, a connector choice for application in the industrial market will require the PCB assembly to be conformal coded. The DF51K enables this process to a depth of three millimeters. As always, for more information on the DF51K or any other Hirose product, please visit us at hirose.com and thank you for watching.